Hey guys, welcome back to another Steam Deck video. I'm Blaze. Hopefully you're having a great day. Please like, subscribe, click the bell icon. It really helps out. And we post Steam Deck content every single day. But in this video specifically, we're going to be talking about the internal storage of the Steam Deck. Whether, like, what version of the Steam Deck would I recommend if you haven't bought one yet? Um, and should you upgrade the internal storage? Um, we're going to get into it. And we're just going to have a short little video talking about it and what I'm going to do with mine. Anyways, guys, please like, subscribe, click the bell icon. I'm Blaze. Okay, let's go. Hey guys, before we get to this video, we're giving away one of these amazing folding keyboard and track pads for the Steam Deck. It's my favorite Steam Deck accessory and we're giving away in a couple of weeks. All you have to do for a chance of winning is clicking the like button, subscribe button and bell icon and commenting down below as to why you would want to win one of these bad boys. Also, if you just want to buy one of these things, um, I'll put a link to where you could buy it in the video description and in the top comment of this video. So guys, I've been really it's been itching to upgrade the internal storage of this thing now i bought the 512 gigabyte model it has etched glass that's really the only upgrade i think you get like an extra keyboard theme you get the etched glass um and you obviously get 512 gigabyte ssd and the, this model is about 250 dollars more expensive than the base 64 gig model now if if you're on a budget and you're wanting to try and save some money Get the 64. If you're tech savvy, if you're tech savvy and you could maybe replace RAM sticks in your PC, um, get yourself a 64 gigabyte, buy a one terabyte SSD and, and slap it in here. All right. Um, you really should. Um, because I've spent $250 more. I'm not that much of a fan of the Edge Class. It doesn't make that much of a difference for me. Um, I've spent 250 more. I still don't have a one terabyte hard drive. And I'm kind of wishing I got the 64 gig and just upgraded myself. Anyways, um, so I was looking at this post on Reddit here um, where somebody posted one terabyte internal update. Is it recommended or is recommended? Sorry. So as you can see, he's got a lot of big, big games here. He's got Divinity Original Sin 2, 142 gigabyte. Um, or sorry, no, sorry, my bad. 58.77 gigabyte. He's got Middle Earth Shadow of War, which is 110 gigabyte. Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Um... 24.7 batman arkham city game of the year 18.58 so as you could probably see you know if you're if you're big into games you have a lot of games and you want to be able to have them all on device you're going to be filling up that 512 gigabyte easily and very fast and i don't know if you've watched my previous video we've spoke about dual booting windows and steam os on this thing and if you're going to try and dual boot on the internal drive you're really going to be having some issues because 512 split between two operating systems is a no-go um i've actually installed windows on my micro sd card down in the bottom here i was going to post a guide for it and i probably still will but it's not been the best experience because as you can imagine running windows off a micro sd card it's a little bit slow now the games run fine i can run all my windows games now i can run xbox game pass games which is amazing um but the the base operating system can be a little bit slow because it is running off a micro sd card which don't have the fastest speeds plus not to mention it can wear down your sd cards quite a bit because it's con windows windows is constantly reading and writing reading and writing and doing that over and over again to a micro sd card will eventually cause a failure um so i really want to do the windows on this thing i don't feel comfortable partitioning the internal S 512 gig ssd to do that so i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to buy an internal ssd card um an, an internal nvme ssd and upgrade this from 512 to one terabyte and i might end up actually just selling the one that's already in this you know um on ebay for money you know money towards my new upgrade so um right now there's a bunch of right now there's typically like one um card in particular that i would probably recommend if you're going to be doing this and it's the western digital sn530 now i'll put a link to where you can get this on amazon because they do sell it on amazon um prices range sometimes um they give me selling them for as low as like 150 um all the way up to like 250 um as you can imagine a lot of people are doing this a lot of people are buying these up right now specifically with the intention of upgrading their internal ssd um so if you can get a good deal on one of these get it if you see it for like less than 200 get it um but this is probably going to be the one that I'm going to go for. So I'll put a link to this in the video description and in the top comment of this video um, to where you can get your own one, right? Um, they've also got some good ones on eBay. Some people are selling them for 136 on eBay. So, you know, I don't know how much... I don't know if these are brand new. It says they're brand new, but are they, though? Um, but obviously, this guy seems to be pretty damn happy with his 100, 
you know, 938 gigabytes of storage. I think it advertises one terabyte, but in reality, it's like any other hard drive, right? You'll probably only get like 938 or something like that, something in that ballpark. But that sure as hell is a lot better for for storage, for storing your games, right? And you're still going to get a really good, fast SSD performance. And more importantly for me, specifically, is I'm going to be able to run Windows alongside SteamOS on this thing, dual booting um, with WeFind, and being able to switch between SteamOS and Windows really easily, and have that fast, snappy, buttery smooth Windows experience on the Steam Deck, and then access all the games that I want, including my Game Pass games, and Call of Duty Warzone, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 that's coming out soon, um, and be able to switch back to SteamOS for the better experience, let's be honest. But it's nice having the option to do both operating systems, but I really need to upgrade the SSD. So if you're planning on upgrading, um, if you're planning on dual booting, you need to, you're gonna need to upgrade the storage in this thing if you want a really good experience anyways guys let me know in the comments because i'm curious like i said this is just a little bit of a rambly video talking about upgrading the internal storage of this thing there's not really much steam deck news today to cover so i'm just i'm, I'm grasping at straws all right but i just wanted to tell you my mindset going into this thing i probably am going to be buying a new ssd to upgrade to one terabyte um specifically just so i could have more storage for games and also be able to like dual boot you know, dual boot between Windows and SteamOS on the internal SSD just to get the best performance out and not feel like it's it's been held back by the micro SD card, which it is right now. Um, anyways, let me know what you think in the comments. And like I says, we're giving away this bad boy, the little foldable Bluetooth keyboard, which I love. And I use I'm not even kidding. I use this thing every single day. Um, and I'm giving one away in the next couple of weeks. Um, to a lucky, well, to someone who subscribes and leaves a comment in these videos. Um, so please enter. It doesn't cost a thing. Leave a comment, subscribe, click the bell icon, drop the like button, um, and you might win this. But if you don't want to wait and see if you win, just go buy it. I'll put a link in the video description and in the top comment also. Um, anyways, guys, I love you and I appreciate you. I'm blaze 2 k Have a wonderful day. And please subscribe, click the bell icon for more Steam Deck news because we do Steam Deck videos every single day on the channel um, and everything in between, like technology, VR, gaming, you name it. Um, so have a wonderful day. I'm Blaze. I love you. Bye. Um, let me know what you think in the comments about upgrading the internal SSD. Should I do it? Should I do it? And should I post a video on it? Um, if I do end up doing it, I'll obviously post a video on it and... Um, Subscribe and click the bell icon for that. Bye, guys.